What's up guys? My name is Zach and I'm back again with another Cars and Capri Sun. Today I'm driving the 2007 Pontiac G6 that seems to have an exhaust leak. It's gotten way louder. And I'm drinking a uh, Fruit Punch Capri Sun with Raphael in the front, I guess. Um, so yeah, today's topic for the video is uh, my car history and my family's car history. Uh, so we'll just jump right in and of course with all these videos I make these videos so then I can read the comments I want you guys to tell me your car history and uh, what uh, what cars you've owned and that sort of thing so I'll start off with I'm 18 years old my birthday is August 28th which is actually coming up uh, um, and I've owned two cars personally but I'll start off with uh, my family's cars. So when I was born, my parents had one car. Uh, there's just two of us. It's my brother and I, so there are two siblings. And uh, we had a, I believe a 95 Ford Taurus. It was the old bubble cars. It was white, it had a pinstripe down the side. Uh, the back looks like an FDRX7, I've been told, but uh, yeah, there's a bunch of kids getting out of high school. I just graduated, so there's a bunch of kids getting out of high school right now, which is weird, and they're all staring at me, but it's fine. Um, so we had that 95 Ford Taurus. Uh, I mean, I never drove it. I was never old enough because we got rid of it in uh, 2004. But then the next car that we got, uh, my dad, he needed a car. So he actually originally bought a uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse convertible. It was silver. I actually remember riding in it. And uh, my car seat in the back would barely fit under uh, the closable top. But my mom got, or my mom had a dream, I've been told, that she had like a dream that the car rolled over and we all died. So she made my dad sell it after two days. He returned it to the dealership, lost his $2,000 deposit, um, and obviously we didn't keep the Eclipse, which would have been a cool car, but you know. But in light of that, he then bought the 1998 Dodge Ram that I've grown up driving. It was my first car, I drove it to my first job, I drove it to school. Uh, here comes the bike. Wow. Um, he's flying. Uh, so yeah, he bought a 98 Dodge Ram 1500 Sport uh, in 2002. So it was the dealership like show car or whatever. And he bought it off the lot because he needed a car to get to work. Uh, and his youth mentor from church actually worked at the Dodge dealership. So we got a good deal on that. Uh, that car has lasted forever. We still have it, but we're probably going to get rid of it soon because the rust is really bad. And it gets bad gas mileage. And we just honestly don't have room in the driveway because we have five cars uh, for four people. So it's probably going to go pretty soon here. Um, yeah, like I said, I learned how to drive in it. I'll cut to a clip of me with my permit in it. And, uh, oh, here's my brother and, uh, his Ford Taurus. Hi. We didn't even look. That's depressing. Um, so I'll get to that car in a second, too. Um, I keep saying, um, I'm so sorry. So Dodge Ram, uh, we still have it. And I, I hope to make a video because I really want to take it into Chicago. I've never taken the truck into Chicago. It's about a 30 minute drive from where I live and I've always wanted to do that as a final send off video. And these construction trucks just pulled off the grass. Um, God, I need to stop saying, um! So that's that. And then in 2004, my mom got a 2004 Chrysler Pacifica, only brand new car we've ever had in the family. We've road tripped that car to South Dakota. My brother and I took it up to Toronto uh, last summer. Um, and that car, that car's that been pretty good. Again, I have a review of the Chrysler Pacifica, so I'll throw that link up. Then in 2012, I or my family got this Pontiac G6. We got it in 2012, I'm pretty sure. Might have been late 2011. No, it was late 2011. Because I was in eighth grade. So yeah, it was late 2011, I believe. 
Uh, we got this 2007 Pontiac G6. My grandpa's friend that he goes to the OTB with, his daughter went off to college and he didn't want this car sitting around in the driveway because she wasn't going to come back for most breaks. I don't know where she went, don't know her story or whatever. But we bought this car um, for a very good price and it has been very dependable. We took it down to Austin, Texas. We've taken it, I've taken it to Kentucky. Uh, I, I've taken it all the way up to the to Wisconsin, or well, I've taken it to Wisconsin, to Milwaukee, but I've also taken it up to Traverse City. Uh, we've never had a problem with it. Uh, it's been a great car and it's what I daily now. Then last year in September 20th, 2015, uh, I bought my first car. So it's like, it's the first car that I personally bought, but the truck was basically mine because my brother went off to college, um, but I didn't actually purchase it. In September, I personally purchased with my own money uh, a 1985 Mazda RX-7 GSL and uh, I want to make a video about that whole buying process because I bought off Craigslist and I got screwed. I got screwed hard. I ended up, I bought the car sight unseen. I sent my dad with the money. I was like, hey, can you go look at this car because I have church and uh, I ended up buying it without a brake. It was missing one of the brakes. Now the engine's blown. Um, it's it's been terrible. I love that car to death, but I've just had terrible luck with it, and I've kind of gotten screwed, honestly. Then, uh, what came for? Oh, my brother this August got the 2015 Ford Taurus Interceptor uh, as part of his job, so that's pretty cool. That car is fast. It's stupid fast, honestly. Um, so he got that car that's part of his job. It's 2015. We're back to the white Ford Taurus, just like we started off. And then now recently, as of two weeks ago, I bought another RX-7, a 1987 Mazda RX-7 uh, FC. And I'll, I'll send a link to that video. I did do a review of that car, but I also did a, a video of buying that car, which I think would be more interesting, so I'll leave the link to that. But I'm sure you can find the review. It's on my channel. Um, more of a Pacific Cooler guy. Uh, so that is all of our cars up to date now. So we had the 95, I think it's a 95. I'm not sure. It might have been a 96 or 97. I'll leave it up on the screen once I find out, once I get home. Uh, Ford Taurus. Then we had the Eclipse for a very brief time, two days. Then we have the truck, which we still have. Then we got the Chrysler Pacifica that we still have. Then we got the G6 that we still have. Then I got my RX-7, which I still have. Then my brother has his Taurus that he still has. And then um, I got my other RX-7, which actually has been gutted. Uh, the engine has been ripped out. I'll leave a link to that video, of course. Uh, so that car, I still own it, but it's not movable. It's down in a storage facility in Southern Illinois. Uh, so it doesn't, I don't think it really counts as a car anymore. It's just parts. So that's my family and my car history. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video and subscribe if you really like it. And of course, I want you guys to comment your guys' car history, what your favorite car has been. Uh, maybe a, a car that your parent or grandparent has had. I'm going to stop at this light because I don't want to go through it. Um, and yeah, so hope again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. I'll be back with more Cars and Capri Sun very soon. Take care, guys.